This is my renovation gig. This house? Yeah. Sure, because I'm doing the renovations on this house. You? That means... Come on. Our meeting was supposed to start a full minute ago. Guess we'll be working together then. It's a movie. I'm an owner of a praline shop in New Orleans. I'm Miss Loretta, and I, I'm the first black-owned praline shop in New Orleans. And uh, I'm a grandmother of a grandson who's trying to make advances to uh, Keisha Knight Pullman. That's his love interest in the movie. And I'm just trying to make sure they get together, so I'm doing a little grandma magic. And it, it's just a cute story. It's a beautiful story. They connect with everyone. I mean, I've been watching them forever. And I look forward to the Lifetime movies. They're just clean, fun, and they're just awesome. They're, they're like a staple in my life. And I was happy to be asked to do it. I'm 78, honey. I'm going to be singing until I'm 178. OK, I'm not stopping. And as long as my voice is good, I'm going to continue touring and um, doing everything I can. The only person that could stop me will be me. And I'm full of energy, full of life, and I'm blessed to be asked to do so many things. So I'm taking advantage of everything that someone might ask me. It has to be in good taste, though. Oh, he owed me so much Tupperware, honey. He ended up giving me a diamond ring because when he called me one day in Philadelphia, he said, hi, Patty, this is Reggie. I said, hey, Reggie. He said, I want you to come and see me tonight. I said, where are you? He said, I'm at the Spectrum. I said, who are you opening for? He said, I'm not Reggie anymore, I'm Elton John. I said, you punk boy, give me back my Tupperware. And one day, he couldn't give me the Tupperware, but he gave me a beautiful diamond ring because we were recording together and he took his rings off and set them on the piano. When we finished, I said, Elton, here's your rings. He said, no, that's your Tupperware. I said, thank you. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, he was my piano player back in the day. And now he's on his farewell, farewell, farewell tour. tour. Have you talked to him? Or, or what do you no, think about but that boy ain't finishing. He can't. You know, people say farewell with all that talent and all that goodness. I bet you he won't say farewell for good. I bet you.